What is going on everybody? Today is a DIY day or night as you can see. Lately my floor mat on the bottom of my trunk has deteriorated, given away. So today I'm gonna fix that with wood. So basically, you know, here's what's going on. Carpet would cape, oh wait, hang on, let me go get the carpet. All right, so here's the floor mat. Just some things from the top. You can see how it's just outlined right here and like printed. There's also a hole for the tire. There's like a screw that sticks out of the middle of the wheel. That thing was poking up and it made a hole through here because the plastic, there's like a plastic stopper in it. It just went to crap. Here's the underside and one piece already fell off when I took it out just to like vacuum it. I took it out the vacuum and the particle board just fell off. I'm assuming they just held it in with glue and this is the glue. But this is like bowed and it should be flat, but it just has this like curve to it. That's what I'm gonna fix today. I've seen people do like hardwood floor trunks, which I thought about doing, but I, if you don't know, I play music, so I, I have to haul all my stuff. So I'll have like amps, pedal boards, guitars, sometimes three guitars and amp, a pedal board all in the trunk. Hardwood isn't the best for that because it'll slide around, scratch, so it wouldn't look good because that's what hardwood is there for, is to look good. So I figured, make it carpeted, and then I figured, well, why not just use the same carpet that I had? Don't know what I'll do about these things. Also, I was grabbing, I was grabbing this on the way out here. I think I picked it up just by the carpet, and this whole thing just came off. Like, I didn't even try to pry it off, like, even more. I'm not even trying to do this. Yet here we are. This is what I was talking about, that little plastic piece that goes on top. Maybe that got embedded somehow. It's falling apart. We're gonna fix it today. We might make this a little secret storage area. Cause I don't know if I wanna run a spare cause I got AAA weight saving even though we're using three quarter inch plywood. Already did some sanding and wood filler. There's just some like rough spots. Plan is we lay the carpet under the wood, trace it out, cut it with jigsaw, if not, then the table saw. We got good old 77 spray adhesive. Butter that thing up and it should be good to go. So I also might have to cut this. See, it's, it, I don't know. This is gross. Like something spilled here, but it's falling apart. And I might just rip the whole thing out. Cause I don't really care about the sound thing. Cause that's all this is. I don't think it's for padding, but let's get to sanding. So sanding's done and now it's time to trace. If you're like me and you found some scrap wood, what you wanna do, wood bows. And it just bows over time. So you wanna look down and see which way the crown is. Bows this way, ever so slightly. So the crown's right here. You want it to face up so when you put stuff on it, it flattens out. So I guess it doesn't matter which side is up, but that's just one thing to check before you do. It's not the same on both sides, so that's why the top is important. But we're gonna cut yeah, just a little bit off each side. Since this is bowed, you want you can have weight on here, somebody stand on it. I'm gonna put boards on it just to keep it in place. And I'll get a sharpie, we'll just draw it out and then we'll cut it out.
so here is the piece in the trunk and you know not a perfect fit I could trim it up some it does not cave in but there is um, that piece right there which comes up a little bit that makes it kind of slanted yeah I think I will shave down to that purple line and that should make it a flush fit but yeah, so far I'm happy with it. It's easy enough to get in and out, just as easy as the carpet. Let's keep moving this on. You got this pretty flush with the back, so now I'm just sanding the edges and making it smooth and removing all the like splinted ends. It is still a little snug, so I'm taking a little bit more off here and I'll take some more off here. I will underneath here, because this is where that bump is, I'll start sanding some of this out and it'll just help a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to make it flush. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. I'm dedicated to this. What I did is I set the table saw blade height to roughly a third of the way and just randomly cut lines across. And what I'll do is I'll take this wood chisel, try to take a lot of these out. And she's always gone. This is all chiseled out and everything. I'm gonna say that's good enough. I just, I don't want perfect, even though that's what I tried for. I just wanted something that's a little bit better than just being flat all the way across. All right, so here is the finished product. You see there's, oh, that one could be better. It's not completely flush, but this is, uh, I'm gonna take some more off this side. Let me get the shot. I'm not saying this was planned, but purple. So we're gonna mark. I'll do that. We'll cut that piece, call it a done deal, sand that corner again. On top of spraying it with adhesive spray, we're gonna staple it. Let's look at it again. Now we uh, spray it and cover it. All right, so we got the spray adhesive, but we're not gonna stop at that, oh no. We have a staple gun. So we'll spray it, let it sit for a little while, tack up, put on the carpet and then staple it as well and also there's like a strap you pull up on to like remove the trunk liner when you need the spare tire and so what I did is I just two screws on one on each side and it it works for now we'll see if it breaks but it's not a big deal if it breaks because you can just reach around and pick it up I'll just clean up a little bit while that dries. All right, so the garage is sort of cleaned up and this is sort of dried. So good enough to stick it in, right? There's the finished product. Now I also thought about adding more wood to it. If I do, it'll be thin wood, maybe quarter inch versus three quarters. I mean, you can clearly see the outline of the board, but this base is strong and it should do what I want it to do, which is, you know, not break when I have 100 pound of gear in here. I'm gonna call this one more of a success than this one, because this one, I mean, it's still holding up great, but it's, you know, it, it has its flaws. 
don't want that printing of the board. I'll just use thinner wood. That's all I can tell you. Or I'd honestly, ideally, you'd make it you'd make it six inches longer, and you wouldn't have that issue. But it might get wobbly because of the stuff on it, but whatever. So that's where I'm gonna end this video and call it a night. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We are so close to a thousand. We're finally getting monetized. Stick around for more stupid and crazy stuff.